We're here in Capacache 2014. I'm uh, Toby Delbrook with Mark Oswald, and we're going to demonstrate the, um, the slot car racer project from this year. The slot car racer is a game where we have a track uh, in which uh, little cars run in these little slots here and the car has a magnet on the bottom that holds on the track and this little pin on the front of the car goes in the track and then the car picks up power using these two brushes here. Uh, and then the human driver has a throttle which they press to control the amount of power and by that means they can control the speed as they're going around the track. Now on this track a decent human driver will do about four seconds uh, per lap. Now this is the, the white car is a human controlled car if the car crashes, you have to pick it up and put it back in. So now let's put on the computer control car, which is being tracked by this camera you see right here. It's uh, the latest Davis uh, 180 by 180 DVS uh, pixel sensor, which is tracking the cars from the ceiling, uh, the eye of God view, and now it's, it's controlling the car according to the instantaneous place that the car is in the track. You can observe what's going on here. If you look at the car over here on this edge of the track, you'll see that the red car applies these huge bursts of throttle and then braking on the straightaways and the curves. Now the red car is actually catching up with the black one. Oh, they both crashed. The computer controlled car on this track achieves about three and a half seconds, 3.2 seconds sometimes, as little as 3.1 seconds per lap. So let's Let's do a real race. On the word go, the two cars are going to start off and try to do 10 laps first. On your marks, get set, go. The red car is computer controlled, the white car is human controlled. Oh, the car is almost crashed out there. The red car is in the lead. I think it's lap number three already. Oh, will the human be lapped? The red car is catching up. Up, oh, it's just about to lap. The human's staying ahead heroically. Oh, the human crashed out. Bummer. So you can see how it works here uh, using the DVS up in the ceiling. Um, when the moving, when the car goes around the track, it produces these events, uh, which are processed to track the car. In this case, this is Mark controlling the, the human control car. The data rate is extremely low here. You can see it, it doesn't even measure on this scale. Now, there's a model of the track, which if I turn it on here, you'll see it. As the uh, car drives around, it's tracked along this computer control, this uh, track here. And at every point in the track, the computer applies a throttle setting to the car, which is proportional to the size of the blue dot here. The X's here are where the computer applies electronic braking that shorts the motor. And that's basically how it works. Uh, you, you go and you draw, as a coach of your car, you go and draw your throttle settings and your brake settings and you try to get the car to drive as quickly as possible around the track. And at the moment, the computer car just crashed for some reason, we don't know why. But it typically achieves um, yeah, times that are really competitive compared to humans. Because uh, these points here come along about every 5 or 10 milliseconds and every 5 or 10 milliseconds the throttle is updated.